Hey guys, what's going on? So vlogs, for me, uh, for me, they're just it's what we're seeing now. It's just the start of what what is coming. Um, obviously, I think I'm right in saying that uh, Casey Neistat really. Uh, opened the world's eyes, if you like, to what is possible. This kind of quality that uh, the kind of quality film that one person can make with uh, minimal, if you like, resources, i.e., a camera uh, and some editing software and a, and a nice mic and a lot of creativity and talent, no doubt. There, and now you see many more people in the different walks of life making their own vlogs i.e. daily video but like I said I think this is just the start there's so many people that could benefit from doing uh, their own vlog for example musicians especially musicians that are on tour they make their own vlog every day that's going to be very very interesting they're going to get people First of all, uh, getting to know them is going to bring them a minimal revenue unless they get super, uh, super big audience. But it's going to publicize what they're doing, i.e. their tour, their music, their albums, uh, racing drivers. You know, the world, a Formula One driver doing a vlog would be absolutely fascinating fascinating everybody would have an idea of what of what goes into a uh, Formula One driver's life during during the season I think a lot of people have got the idea that it's all glamorous and uh, it's just jet setting around the world but I don't, it's, I don't I'm pretty sure it's not really huge spot huge sponsor uh, obligations meetings press conferences constantly um, you know when you're going around the world maybe outside of Europe you know you've got the constantly fighting jet lag living at hotel rooms you know a blog a vlog would be fascinating and you know these these guys have got what it takes and even not uh, you know multi-million dollar Formula One drives maybe they don't need the publicity but you know guys in the smaller uh, smaller motor sport um, championships even that would be fascinating just watching you know the sort of preparations like a, a club racer has got to go through to get to the uh, to get to the track on a Sunday even that would be fascinating the preparation that goes on during the week and you know and the day then at the um, at the track would be fascinating and that is key you know for, for the racing drivers first of all it's important that people for widespread appeal it's important that people know who they are so people can support them get behind them but also a vlog would give a driver huge huge exposure for for their sponsors and that is you know critically important um, for them to be doing motor racing the way they want to be doing it i.e. not on a complete shoot string and not completely putting all their money into it uh, musicians, bands, obviously they can do vlogs. Um, so you've got that's your individuals, uh, you know, sports people, even athletes. You know, athletes who perhaps don't get paid the mega millions because they're not on the ATP tour, but nevertheless they are going around the world doing what they're doing. And you know, maybe it's difficult. Maybe they're on a shoestring budget. They can massively benefit from have putting together a vlog you know plus it's going to be super interesting to everybody that's involved in their in their in their sport whether it's hobbies on the weekend you know can you imagine Chris Froome doing a daily vlog on the Tour de France okay granted we get to see most of his day because he's on he's in the front of the cameras on a bike but you know the off days the preparation leading up to the Tour de France it would be fascinating mountain bikers <laughs> <laughs> Basically, any sportsman I think would benefit from having a vlog, and then you've got uh, businesses that could benefit. Small businesses from uh, just traders uh, going to working on 
uh, for example builders working on a house um, electricians uh, plumbers you know like a day in a life with these guys that would be a um, you know a big eye-opener and then you've got your uh, bigger companies where maybe you can uh, you know, follow in a different team of guys every day or a different team of girls every day and again gets people to know the company gets people to know the products it's um it's, it's priceless uh, it's priceless to the to, to getting their brand out there um you know then you've got things like airlines look at the moment like american chop was a good example you've got but that was must have cost I don't know if it costs millions, but I'm sure it costs hundreds of thousands to do that. But again, what Casey Neistat showed is you don't need to spend all that money. You just need a good editor and a you know, relatively decent camera and very good sound. And, and anybody can make a high quality, uh, high quality TV program. And they can do it daily. So whatever's outside, the, like American Chopper, but you know, multiply that by what a hundred thousand, a million. You know, it's huge, huge, huge potential there. And and that's it. You know, um, you know, individuals are showing what what is possible now. But you know, businesses, professional sports people, even amateur sports people, it can help them turn professional, maybe. It's, just the start um, of people realizing that the potential of uh, you know making high quality videos of what they're doing uh, and that's a video guys I just want to do you know share my opinions on you know where vlogging is going and if it's got a future or not you know so if you like the video please subscribe to the channel vote on the video and I'll see you again next time